five Here. men in a lobby no one contesting b literally everyone's just walking off slowly instant headshot from wardell that's a nice one taking out the opposing jet that's a good start drone with a headshot and a wipo as well and the a site has been completely taken over smokes to walk line of sights from the players and screens and drones got even more wardell tagging along and it looks like these two players are the only ones that will need to act in this round because last alive killjoy in the defensive team iron has nothing to say and now the economy was a little bit too low Let's see what the side do that front later on there's no slouch on that operator that's for sure we're going to site pure finds that opening kill that economy just drops on the ground as wardell falls instantly cover going out it's going to be a fade back for TSM as they're trying to figure out, do we really want to execute on the site? Do we really want to push for A? They have all this control, all these smokes out there. What do we really do here? Well, certainly the plan was not to have Slipper fall to Flippo in the mid. Try and make a lurk happen. And we did, holding the line very effectively. This is looking favorable for sure on the side of X as the last player alive is Cutler. Not able to do a whole lot of Aaron. Picks up a nice double. Sees two mid. Doesn't get a kill. He stabs two with the knives, unfortunately. And that's, this is not enough mathematically to kill someone. So he doesn't manage to get a single frag, but he knows that a couple people are tagged, which might be big coming in for this retake because all the weapons are pretty bad for these attackers. So any damage is good damage and more so coming through. Drone is full HP. Pure has the first frag. So Rosa goes down. Drone has more spots. Not good enough. The jump is just an out of time. Wardell has a Sheriff still on top of pipes. So he gets oh, one wow. frag off of that. And the ultimate. That might be the thing to win the round right there. Because they cannot stall hard enough to be able to get that defuse. They kill one. Wardell gets the other. And there is almost no chance. But in midair, does manage to kill the last defuser. They all fall except for the so crazy stuff. You're, what is this? That's You're not allowed. Illegal. That's illegal. You're not allowed to get away with those. The transfer was real by Pure. Falls to the Vandal of Cutler. It's a quick 2v2 situation, but it was the perfect timing onto Sub Rosa, who's trying to make it happen with that ultimate. It's shut down. I believe he loses that anyway. He does. We did with the ultimate available himself, but it's not going to matter right here. No spike is going to be on site. And he needs to find where Cutler is located. Assuming the, ro the rotation was there for the spike, the color swinging around, we did is ready for the repeat. To be able to have that experience, to know all the nuances. It's going to be some late utility being put down. Drone, is he going to die off this? He's, gonna, he's taking so much damage, even after that run it back expires. That one, that one almost hit two. Well done by Cutler on the attack. Still trades back and forth on the site, four versus four, and it's still tight, but Pura seems to know that there's a player running away from him in mid. It's going to be irrelevant for now, because he's going to get away, and a res for the defense makes it better, but Wardell still on high ground with the operator. They can't escape this man. Smokes down, but it's so open. The plant is so good for this man right here. There's nothing for the opponent to do. I cannot escape this off, and it's four to three. Exactly why they were one of the top teams in America. Exit though, still in a good spot to be able to win this round. They have a stage on site by the time of Whiffo becomes a huge here for the Exit rotation. They're gonna be able to hold it down again as they've done so beforehand, but a nice open pick from Ward Dell and the BCJ Sub Rosa finding weak drone finding Whiffo. It's Carnage across the site. TSM coming out on top. Let's just not go here. Let's go, let's go away. They rotate off and they just get every single frag. To be honest, TSM exploding on the side has a better lineup. Drone finding with Thrifo as well, and it's just last person alive. PCJ, not much was happening that game that round. So little action, but it was the positioning. It was those inching for map control, finding the information of where X was located, and they were able to find the perfect positioning and just completely explode through X SX lines. They were all around B site. They had an idea. Oh. Last man alive. And I'm gonna be honest, it was a save round, so blowed from there. With great execution. Oh drone shutting down the drop. Thwip a little bit too fast for drone preparation there. And out of four versus four, the retake is happening for Exet. Falling back with Cutler on the fadeaway shot to Thwipo to the dome. The shot dart lineup still ready to go. You can always expect Cutler to have those no matter where he is. TSM so Rosa and Haze.
Come in with two big kills. And it's just going to be Operator looking to be saved <laughs> by a nice little goodbye kill onto Sub Rosa before running away. You want to save that 5,000 credit economy weaponry. So Wardell taking just about as much damage from the fall as he did from Xset in that round. And it's going to be TSM looking really good. But now that wall is about to go down. Sub Rosa was ready for and just instantly pops BCJ in the head. Drone lurking on the side. A ring getting distracted by the approach on mid from Sub Rosa. Not looking the right way. And that timing. Drone knew. Aaron did not. Bad read on the side of Exit's Sentinel there. Now just instantly. It's going to be a three versus five retake. Uh, just kidding. The round is over. Uh, <laughs> instantly, all of them died. The resurrection was even spent. This TSM, they don't back down this easily, right? They will go for this all day, any day. Slow going, though, because Spike did get planted so early. Damage done. Worse for TSM. Oh, Hayes has actually gone down. Oh, Cutler does a response. Iron's all the way on the... What? He's on the back lines? He's got a huge flank. He needs to be so fast, though, because his teammates are falling on sight. Big paranoia. Not going to be enough. Wardell takes out every single player going for the defuse, and I'm pretty sure it's already half. Turret's out! What the hell is he doing? Is he the god of the turret? No way! He's out of bullets! <laughs> oh my god, it's so fast, it's so fast, they're up all the way to site again, caught their high ground, instant trades, back and forth, Word oh, wait, hello? Oh, he really wants that frag, he's One so hungry for it, and Sub Rosa, thank goodness he's there to pick up the pieces, because Wardell took so much damage, these weaker weapons could have made a difference in that case, but Sub Rosa is just, he's too good. The fact that he has the tail win on that jet, step on that. Swarm grenade just to they don't expect him to be there. He just takes the damage they think he wouldn't. The wall with shots though from long range taking them out from top two. That's a little unfortunate to be positioned there for Drone. Wardell, Cutler, Sub Rosa. It's a nice spread of names across the board for TSM getting some kills there. Cutler finishing off with that Bortle Dog in hand. And that's gonna bring another map point. This is an extremely dominant game and Honestly, I'm just going to say it was TSM because they weren't being streamed. <laughs> they just, they, they didn't have that stream advantage. They didn't have that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they're, content, they're content machines, right? They're content if machines. Streamed, they get... Like I said, it's going over when it's over. Wardell finding pure is not a good look, though. And a five versus four situation. Except they've been trying to be extremely aggressive on attack. I respect it. I like aggression happening. That's why I'm a breach main. But it has not quite worked out for Xset. It's been a little bit of a bad momentum. Good on the side of TSM. Haste to the Bulldog. Beautifully paced. Full shots there. Aegir with a nice hop. Up. Slaying him out. But the two versus three is all the that. They do have resurrection, but there's no access. To their teammates, Swift was trying to hang around and he didn't to happen, but we got to pick up the side. Sub Rosa finishing the fight on Aaron, who couldn't jiggle the swing peak well enough. Use his brain and beat his team around. But uh, nonetheless, speaking uh, of leading, oh! now leads the scoreboard. All five, oh. so clean. Who would have thought? Um now, of course, first one with a judge yet again. Of course, the fight knows that one's going to be in the cubby. Finds almost a second, but A-Rank Vandal's a little bit too much for Wardell. Being a little too far away for that judge to fit with the fight. Too much damage, but with Drone holding the angle. Gets a nice headshot with that Spectre. Against a very weak enemy Killjoy and A-Rank. When he finds a kill onto Drone, finally falls on top of the ramp over on the A-side. That's going to be heaven access for x but completely triangulated by the team of TSM. No and. Answer, it would be technically the correct answer for the side of exit. They just have to pick one and make it happen. Now this doorway going towards CT. We did is going to be looking towards screens, but should be looking left. Picks first, comes out the right side. By the right side, I should say correct side. Looking to the left. Cutler getting some nice shots with the Bulldog, but not, not enough. Now it's going to be two weak members of exit. If one gets a fully healthy member of TSM in Hayes on the Sage. Battle Sage needed if TSM wants to win out this round to make it a three versus zero on the round count. Oh. Omen lurking in the head. BCJ oh, is going to be right behind Hayes. What? BCJ memeing, I guess? I don't even know. Just gets caught by Hayes. What even was that? That's really unfortunate. Yikes.
BK falls, Hayes, and now one versus one because he we did. This is that roll, but wow. TSM is able to spawn a long time for color again. Nice bird flash from the heavens. But what's behind a lot of the members? So they went flash very long. X said we did able to get two kills thus far and pop that Viper's pet. Welcome to oh, no. Plus, ever good help into the world. X we did getting the triple, but not enough on the round. The two remaining Funny how well, at least three members X said were, so they said, you know, screw it, we're we'll go ahead and execute onto the side drone with a phantom long range. Not one shot headshot, but it's gonna be enough damage still. Wardell getting a nice double. Aaron falling for Quipro Sins. And it's all going down to BCJ, but it's not gonna be enough as a weak. Oh, me okay. I mean, all the defense is sitting in spawn, they're waiting, but they don't take advantage of that breach ultimate, and they just sit here and wait for them to come back. Which is so interesting. Both jets have caught Blade Storm, but Drone is coming in with his Phantom, and you don't want this man with a rifle against you. It's just not going to end well. There's nothing they can do. They're completely overrun. Every single player going down. Wardell with the final kill, and Drone with the triple on the round. They've got plenty of time. As a boomer myself, I can definitely say that. And get away with it. <laughs> 3v3 three, three on the site now for TSM to try to defend. The spike was successfully planted this time. It was a vibe round. With a revive on the drone, the Slayer on the Phoenix, who has a run back available as well. This is looking really good for TSM to execute on here. Run back in the lot formation where at least two members are. The Sub are following up on the formation for two. All down to and screens. The Sub Rosa sees the arm peeking out. I don't think that's a really good spot to stick on, Zoko. Guess from that a little bit sooner or sit back a little bit further. Either way, stood there completely exposed. So a Excellent roster. And he gets back in there. That's a little worm spot from Weedy. That's that's the angle that we're talking about, right? As you can see shoulders sometimes, but that's a nice shot from him. And now the site has been completely taken. Wardell again, he just gets a kill. They always manage to get the crucial frags. This time Hayes so hey, he's blind! He can't see anything! You're not on his screen! They're running gun while blind. <laughs> Remaining. That's it. One versus three. They, there's no chance. They're running. In, they're literally running into him. He cannot shoot. His gun doesn't fire. This is the kind of scoreline you'd really expect before like the split update happened. That's some nice coordination from these two players up in the heaven. Neither of them get a kill. Wardell actually falls. And pure. That, that's good stuff. That's what you need to happen. That's what you need to expend that much utility and bait out that much utility as well from the attackers or from the defenders. Excuse me. You need those two frags. Sub Rosa is the main threat right now in this site, and they don't check him. Wow, okay. One of them does run past. I think we did actually ran past him, but Sub Rosa doesn't see, is not aware. I guess comms were a bit too hectic. He doesn't hear him running to his left, or maybe just trigger discipline. He just wants some more out of that situation. Nonetheless, he does go down. One versus five is going to be a tall pass for Cutler. He's been looking so good in this map. Eight to three, making. Making some moves happen. He's looking for a ninth, but five bullets and Aaron's got his number. It is an eight to three. And uh... this will be the last round of the half. It's just the defense side, at least. BCJ finding the kill under Wardell, who got a little bit loose goosey there. And no! oh no, you're missing those shots onto Hayes. You hate to see it. You definitely need to hit those with the Blade Storm to have that pure, clean access. The plan intended. Uh, for be heavy control. What? So Rosa following the Seekers into the smoke, just tracing them. Beautifully done. A nice heads up play by Sub Rosa. I, I love to see that. It's great. But, yeah. You know, if it happened, they just rotate B, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we made noise. That was on purpose. Yep, rotate oh. B and Drone gets taken off. Work. Whippo on a breach to work from Sewer PCJ, finishing up a kill on Heaven. And that's going to be a great start to the half for Exit thus far. BCJ killing Wardell as well. Remaining. We did finish in Cutler, and the last person alive is going to be Sub Rosa, stuck in vents, and Pure is on the flank as well. So even if you live against two Wardell, ready with that sheriff though, in case Exit. Keep saying Exit, we did. We did. Goes for the peak. BCJ finding Wardell though with a man long range. In the hand, don't try to just take the fight to him, but uh, on a save round. ECJ doing a nice job of uh, playing a little safe. Drone decides not to push into the spike smoke. Planted. And our rotation's underway. They were able to get a spike planted on site, which is actually honestly really surprising. It's just the smokes were doing a lot of work for some people's vision off, and they don't want to just push through the smokes into people's superior weaponry. BCJ with beautiful shots. 
there. He's trying to Zerg rush him into screens. The Vandal in hand is too much for the same weapons. For the low eco weapons, I should say. Leaves his team, or leaves the enemy. Last one alive, bottom ramp. That one's a problem, and this one as well. Pure, so aggressive. He, again, we use this word to describe these teams so much, especially jet players, but fearless. He has no resolutions, nothing keeping him from just going in, getting those kills, getting the entries, and a second one even from the player pushing out through market to try and trade, but there is no such thing. So already in favor to win the second round. They still have worse guns, but they have lots of manpower. And some information as soon as that happens. Two in the back sight. They're not going to check for him. He might be blind, but here gets his third. He's got so much more potential in this round. But Wipo is likely getting it. Why not Aaron finishes it up? And Pure does get taken out from behind the wall. Perfect flash, but there's so much towards this B for the defense. But the attack has already looked towards A. Spike has already made his way on a site. Wardell is there with the operator to give cover wherever they might need. He might even get aggressive. He's wanting to peek onto this spawn. And Sabrosi even gets a kill on the other side of the map. That is a big problem. Wardell with a fragment of EZJ. That might be the round two versus four. Not too much of a chance, especially because they do know that they have a flank to worry about as well. It looks like they still want to go for it, though. This is a bit risky, considering the fact that they are maybe slightly broke. One of their players is low on money. Rippo is... You know, okay, Wardell whips on him, but he's not going to get another chance. He is in the corner. Butler just walks in him. Instant headshot. 11 to 7, and now Iron might... Blasting on a site, trying to just clear a corner. We did is just baiting. Nobody's actually there waiting for a pure, making the up value be there. Oh, no! And Wardell trying to play sort of, but he whips those. Pure Wardell losing out against him. Pure finds the triple for the round. So Rosa finds one that's all to and will find the far color falling to a double swarm grenade. Um, partially because Wardell kind of stepped down. This time, Jerome definitely stepping up above Ruby, so that's bad, because that is the top frag for the team of Xset. BCJ also falls. A site has been lost, basically. Instant headshot from Pure. That's such a good route. Okay, this is all of a sudden doable again, because Wiffle's got another from spawn. Is he going to be ready for Drone at this angle? Perfect turn, but perfect shot from Wiffle. Two versus three. No more kills other than the first two entries, and it looks like there aren't going to be any more at all. Unless Pure goes down off of this angle, and he's not going to. What a beautiful retake from the entirety of Xset. Keep whips the shot. That might be kind of rough, because they're surely going to push Iron into this position. They're going to not let this, this kill drill pop. Five seconds. Time's running out. So many the shots. Hayes gets the kill. This is not looking too good, but they have to kill these detains. One player at the back of sight. Cutler is the only one to get a kill. No, it's Wardell. The detain is so far outside. Sabrosa, I don't know how this man is the only one that got caught in that Killjoy ultimate. But nonetheless, last alive, worst weapon. Pure is watching one angle. BCJ, back of sight, sees the last player. He's going to get smoked off, but it should be perfectly fine. A TP to the other side, and they're both working together now. In no world, no world should Sabrosa win this. There should be absolutely no chance. 4k from BCJ. It's all evened up. Now. Round and a half by again. Run it back. Drone gets so much utility and so much value off that ultimate so often. Wardell has the control onto heaven. Gets the kill onto Aaron. Pushes right through that Viper screen. Pay no respect to it. BCJ finally killing Sabozo though. They're going to get heaven control right back in their favor. Well, it's available on both sides. Bladestorm versus Front of the Darkness. We'll see what they're able to do with either ultimate. Neither are crazy powerful in this situation, considering the full buy for Wardell and everybody's not on site. The Omen, Wardell on a cheeky angle on the wall, is able to find two kills now. And he's dropping the cure. He's dead, answers right back, but it's going to be a two versus three. Exet, can they win this round? Can they get themselves to match point and match point it will be TSM doing what most predicted them to do. Except we did find the fight though. The timer is not there though. So while they get the kill, he's game with another quarter kill. Back to back rounds this time it does not amount.
That's bad. That's Spike. That's so much info. He's alone too. There's no one to trade. No one even close. Wardell's so far behind. And now they finally recover. The Reds, they're probably playing for that. But it's another kill. Two for Ireland. Wardell gets one. That's important. That's the only one brought back in this round. But so many teammates are here right now for X10. And they're all trapped in heaven. So Rosa gets them out. Blinds. Gets. That's a good blind. But Sabrosa is not the only person to get the kill. Two versus two now. Butler comes in from B main. Now makes it doable. 20 seconds. The time is so low for the attack. Pure is still in spawn. Wall bangs on a weeded are decent. But Pure, if he peeks, Cutler has to get this frag. He has no I option to fail right now. But Sub Rosa goes down. Now he's the last one alive. 70 HP. Overtime secured. Well, well for X set. He did it. We did it with the double on the end. Pure with a nice positioning just in case it whiffs. Tail on DSM. Drone peak with that. Curveball, but oh it's clear. It's not clear. BCJ in the perfect situation. He's trouble. No he the, the position was perfect by BCJ. The timing was there. And he ex Through this heaven position, that's the one spot that isn't being covered. They could line up, and they almost do. So much damage on a Wardell. What chance? No blind. BCJ is the easiest kill of his life. That's the spike. Oh, second frag. Not quite. Weeded gets one though. And Hayes with a trade. So it's still doable. They understand this player should be trapped in hell, but it doesn't matter. Ball goes up. They go right through it. Hayes somehow recovers. That's not possible. No, it's not. 20 seconds. They need to run. Hayes has to absolutely book it to the B site right now. Weeded knows that Sub Rosa is left alive here, left. but he's not going to go for the kill. He's going to go to the other site to try and deny the plant, but it's too late. So much time. Now he plays a one versus two. That double kill from Hayes could have been the most important double kill we've seen in this series today. Gives him a res, puts the favor back into their team. Sub Rosa, he's been looking so bad in this series. Not gonna, uh, in the, not in this series. Sorry, in this map, he's 12 and 20. He's bottom of the scoreboard. He's bottom of the server. But that res could be absolutely exactly what they need to win the round. Gun not spotted. Both players opposite positioning. One high ground in heaven. He just wants to cut him off. Tap. Sees the first damage taken. Ultimate out. Another tap. Rosa has to. He's got to run. Hitting what? He gets into the smoke! Se oh, matchup. Not to this guy. He hits all the shots, but unfortunately the second one peaks way too fast, and we, we all know, we all hate the game. Ah. These freaking sprays, right? They don't reset fast enough. Wardell, though, he resets BCJ in the round. And th that battle of the top frags, that is actually insane. BCJ, on the omen, he's pulling out some ridiculous stuff, because... 27 for him, top of the server, even above the jet opera on the opposing team that should be at the top of the scoreboard. He's been doing so much, but this time, no longer in play. Twiffo bought a judge on a three, on attack. And TSM just by feeling it out, aren't attacking through mid. It's just gonna be drone fall oh. through, but we did anyway. Hey, flying access onto the site. B control obtained left. by TSM. That's gonna be three versus four retake for X set. This is looking likely to be a triple overtime by the numbers here. Man advantage for TSM. But the bomb has not been planted yet. They still need to get that down. 50 seconds remain. The time is running Ooh. out for X set. Huge kill as one more rotation through the Viper's wall. One versus one what? situation. Ewan hits the shot of Sabrosa who was not looking through the corner. And Exit 